Hey there YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to test your water temperature sender unit and your mercury outboard. Uh, on this one, it's a 96, There, you might not have one, uh, it might be just a plug here with nothing, but if you do have one, you'll notice it has a tan wire coming off of it. It is not the tan and blue wire, this is the temperature switch. This is the alarm that goes off when you're screwed. This is what sends the uh, signal to the dash. Alright, so the first test you're going to want to do is to make sure your dash gauge is working. Uh, I'm going to turn the key on here. And now I'm going to go back and ground out the wire. And this should peg to the top. You can also test this from the back of this unit. But checking it from the engine checks your wiring too. I knew this zoom would come in handy. Alright, key's on, we're zoomed in. Now I'm going to take the wire and ground it to somewhere on the engine casing. Oh, that's cool. Boom. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. That works. So, moving on to the sensor. Alright, I already took the wire off. Now I'm just going to take the sensor out. Now, what I'm hoping is the case is that the sealant on these threads is keeping it from making a good ground. So I'm, what I'm going to do is find a way to ground this part see there's an isolator there ground this and then temp put this probe in some hot water and see if the temperature rises alright so here's my apparatus I got the gauge hooked up I got the ground going through the threads with this alligator clip to the block uh, and then I'm just gonna put the probe in some hot water and hopefully the gauge will rise It's now in the hot water, and now it's out of the hot water. I'm going to blow on it. And I don't know what the gauge is reading because I can't see, but my infrared thermometer says 152, 150-ish. Alright, so that looks like it's working, and I just need to clean my threads. Alright, to try to fix this problem in the future, I'm going to use a very small amount of pipe dope just on the outer threads here. That way I get a good contact in the middle. So nothing should blow by the last threads, but I still should get good ground contact. Clean out these threads a little better. Going counterclockwise with this pick, so I don't have a tap. Oh, that crud. Piped up always manages to get everywhere. You're gonna want to tighten this to. 1.2 arm pounds. Pretty sure it's in there further than it was before, so... Alright, what I've done here is disconnected the telltale hose and put it so it's filling back into this bucket. And then I'll have a closed loop water system and the temperature should slowly rise and I, the gauge should not work. <laughs> So 
so the temperature actually did start to increase. I was standing up here and I was letting the tub run a little low on water on purpose and the water pump was still sputtering but uh, I was definitely getting the engine hotter and then sure enough this started to rise so I'd say the fix worked but preferably don't run your engine short on water thanks for watching